Good morning. It's only just morning, mind. It's nearly afternoon. I've had a bit of a funny morning. I want to go to pont a this afternoon, but I'm not sure if I am. You know, I started out the day in my normal way, as I do. And then check my email. Oh, something coming through the door. So I was chasing a customer yesterday to just find out if a gig was happening or not, because it was just an initial inquiry and it turns out it wasn't. So then I was having to just let people know it isn't. I rang my boyfriend up to tell him in person because I wanted to talk to him about something that could be happening on that date. And he said, oh, there might be some gigs going this evening you want to ring so and so find out they're looking for a third member for their pub band I wasn't actually invited so I thought should I just ring them up and offer my services so I did anyway because you know work is work isn't it and it would probably be quite fun so now I'm waiting to hear back if they actually want me or not a message has been passed on to the boss <laughs> it's pub gigs it is two days worth of pub gigs so anyway I, have, I don't know what I'm doing now um, so there. I just went to see what came through the door. Birthday card, that's from my mum. I happen to know, but I'm gonna save it for my birthday. Oh, it's not my birthday for a while yet. And then there's this, and I, I mean, I know I ordered a two terabyte external hard drive for about 30 something quid the other day, but this shouldn't be it. I don't know what it is. I, do you know what, well, it's like you order stuff and you can't remember. It's my thank you present from the Exma Clothing Company. They said, because you know, recently I, I helped them out with a reel on their Instagram, mental health tips for parents of Exma sufferers, you know, stressful times and all. Uh, anyway, uh, they said, to say thank you, please choose any item from our clothing catalogue. And I looked on there and I was like, you know, it was decent, really expensive items. But I thought, I don't need these. I can get cheaper tights. I'm not having problems with my skin. So I'll save those and I won't be greedy and I'll ask for a pair of socks. And that's what I have done. But they're a very nice pair of socks indeed. And uh, yeah, so that was nice. And really it wasn't any problem helping them out. So yes, very pleased for those. And I obviously need a second cup of coffee because there's, there's coffee in there familiar. It's a little while later now. I still haven't heard. Time is getting on. I've just been kind of passing the time by doing little bits of housework here and there, kitchen -y stuff and folding laundry and stuff to put away. And um, it's getting to the point where if I don't hear in the next 40 minutes, it might be cutting it fine for me to pack my bags and leave and get there in time. So I don't know. <laughs> Guess who made it onto the train? Am I going to a gig or am I just gonna have a nice afternoon out? I'm just gonna have a nice afternoon out. So I wasn't needed for the gigs after all. They let me know in good time. So yeah, I did have a bit of a limbo period, but I was just busy. I was sorting out my accounts basically and gig spreadsheet for the band and making sure to delete that entry that was canceled. So there's no confusion in the future. I'm doing my usual nice can of cold pop on the go. Cause I always work up a sweat and a thirst getting into the train station. Cause it's a bit of a walk. So that's always very refreshing and nice. I'm gonna do some Duolingo and I'm gonna tide myself over with some snacks actually. Just that and that. Um, uh, and have a bit of lunch or something in Ponty, but much later. My plan is pretty much to just check out some charity shops for clothes, maybe some clothing shops as well. I'm gonna see if I can get a refillable ink cartridge for my fountain pen, but I'm not holding out too much hope because I think the WH Smiths in Ponty is quite small, so I don't know if they would stock it. But I also want to try out the library and sit and do some homework in it, just to see what it's like, really, so keep the atmosphere. Just a change of scene, you know, be nice. We're just coming into Ponty Preeth now. Look at that menacing looking sky. I do have an umbrella buried in my bag somewhere. Oh, here we go, strike notices. I am so glad to get out today. I was getting so bored cooped up in the house. It's raining. I'm gonna put my camera away. A rainy day in Ponty. I can hear someone busking, but I can't see them. I've sheltered from the rain in WH Smith's because I wanted to come in here anyway, didn't I? Look, I found the fountain pen section. Look, they still sell Parker ink. Do you know, I'm sure it used to be Quink. Maybe they still have both brands. I don't know. They sell cartridges, but do they sell the refillable ones? I used to have a refillable pen when I was little. It was a real antique one. I've still got it somewhere. It was absolutely mega. I loved it. it looked really industrial. I think it was Bakelite and it had a little lever on the side. So you just dip the nib in and it sort of did that with the lever and it filled it up. It sucked it up out of the bottle. You didn't have to like take it apart or anything. It was awesome. But I do think it's had its day. I think the rubber bulb inside had perished, you know. I mean, it was decades old, even when I had it as a child. 
My pen might not be compatible with the refillable ones because I think it has to take the really small cartridges, not the big ones like that. Hey, look, I said about quink, didn't I? It does say quink on it. Quink, but there, see. So it's obviously the same thing. No, they don't have them. I asked. Oh, I thought I was going to come around here and see the sale area, but it's completely uh, closed off. Ah, oh, workbooks. Look, that takes me back to my home educating era. <laughs> Oh, if they had Portuguese vocabulary flashcards, I'd be tempted. Spanish though. I'm going to learn Spanish again at some point. I'm having a rest from it at the moment. I'm just concentrating on Portuguese right now. Oh, look at that fancy electric door. Yep, still raining. Shores has closed. Look, it's really true. End of an era, that is. Oh, we loved Shores. Not anymore, it isn't. It's all just empty. Anyway, I'm nearly at the library. I'm going to head in, see if they've got a loo in there. Look, I'm just chilling with my, my nutcracker man here, or whatever he is. Are you a nutcracker? Santa King, I don't know what he is. Anyway, we're hanging out. Yeah, if there's no loo in the library, I'm going to have to nip to the one in the park, I think. But we'll find out now, won't we? I'll go and ask at the desk. <laughs> New places. <laughs> oh, here we are. It's the front entrance here. It's also apparently a one for all centre. Oh, and a gym and fitness studios. Three in one. There we are. I didn't know that. I'd be very surprised if they don't object to me filming in here. They've got a piano. You can donate to the Pontypri Food Bank here if you want to. They've got a little list of things they're particularly short of. Yes, there was a toilet and I've just used it. I'm just coming upstairs for a little explore. Being very careful not to film anybody. Hey, I presume that's a microfiche machine, is it? It says microfilm scanner. There's a printer there. I see a few printers around. Great big enormous photocopy. And look, there's the museum there, Pontypridd Museum. I think it's open. I looked it up on the website earlier before I came out. I might pop in or I might not. I'll see how the time goes. And look over there. See, quite a lot of these phone boxes have been converted to defibrillator boxes now. There are a few of these little sort of cubby hole desks where you can sit and just do your work quietly. I'm going to do that in a minute. And there are some computers to use as well. I'm going to settle down and do my Portuguese homework now. So I've made a good start on my Portuguese homework. I've done all the exercises from the textbook and I've started to research something. I need to research something about a famous UK person and then write about it in Portuguese and then read it out loud to the class next time I'm in. So I've listed some facts just in English for now, so I'll sort that out at home. I don't want to spend all my time in Ponty in the library. I just wanted to try it out, see what it was like and show it to you, of course. I think what I'm going to do now so I'm going to pop over the road into the museum briefly, not for long, just a little while, have a quick look around and then find a little cafe to have a coffee and a snack. I wanted to show you these tables here, look they've got powerpoints in them, a three pin and two USB ones. Look at those old boxing programmes there from 1932, you'd think I'm in the museum already wouldn't you? I'm not though, let's go back down. I've just missed the lights, that's annoying. Look at all these Edwards coaches, I think they're school buses, you know. This museum used to be a church anyway. Oh, ambulance coming. <laughs> it's an automatic door, very slow one. Hiya. Hiya. I'm in. Look at that, isn't that stunning? I did ask and yes, I'm allowed to film. I told you it used to be a church, didn't I? It looks like they've still got the organ in place. I'm going to see if I can find out about it. <laughs> that was a floorboard. Not, not me, I promise. Does anyone know what these are for? They're like little jack plug inputs in the uh, bench here. They're all around, look, loads of them. Are they for hearing aids or something? I wonder if they're modern additions and not historical in any way. I'm having a bit of trouble figuring out when this pipe organ was made. So I've actually resorted to Googling. I picked up, it's like a 10 minute tour thing you can pick up. It's laminated, walk around with it and leave it before you go. You know, don't take it home with you. So a bit more information on there. Uh, I picked up a couple of these, which I can take with me. So I might um, do those at some point. And there's Pontypridd walking trail as well. So maybe I will do that in a vlog one day. But anyway, apparently... The church was built in 1861 and... I don't know if that's from 1861 or not, but if anybody knows, 
can you tell me in the comments please I'd love to know I've come upstairs now and I see over in the corner there they still have the model railway so we'll have a little look at that in a minute look at the ceiling though isn't that absolutely stunning this looks so cool I presume it's an old wireless I presume it's not a telly but I don't know what this is so I don't know and I can't seem to find any signage about it press button oh it lights up <laughs> there's an old opera singer in there hello matey and he is reflected in his mirror. That was Sir Geraint Evans as Falstaff. And there's Tom Jones, and funnily enough, I was inspired in the Ponte Museum to make him the subject of my famous person I need to research my Portuguese class. He was from here, you know. He was from Ponte Praise. <sighs> Look at this old wheelchair. 1918, they believe it was made. Look, it's got a carpety bit on it down there. The reason it was made, they think, was for the members of the congregation returning wounded from World War One. Oh, I love looking at old packages of things. There's a puncture repair kit there. Tiger bomb, that doesn't look that old at all. I used to have some like that. Thoracic acid powder, anyone? Obligatory mangle. Always seem to have a mangle in a museum. Mining lamps. More stuff to do with mining. And that's something to do with ventilation there. I'm just skimming through it quickly to show you what's here, really. And here's the model railway. Oh, I think it is Pont a Prive. Yay. But we'll see the train station. Yay. <laughs> there's the train station over there. We were there in the vlog earlier, look. And the train, look, bringing all the coal down from the valleys. And the old buses, look. This is no ordinary model railway. It's a historical one. I'm literally the only one in here. I've come at a great time of day for vlogging, except I feel like I need to keep my voice down because it just, I don't know, it'd be all echoing all over the place and the lady at the desk would probably be wondering what I was doing. There's a more complete shot of that lovely looking organ. Oh, they've got a model of an old canal boat here. Look, long and skinny. We walk along the canal quite a bit, actually. They're loading flour into that section there. Those are from the days when they were horse pulled, weren't they, or horse drawn, and they would walk along the side all harnessed up to a rope like that. All manner of goods are being loaded up there from the Nantgaru China Works. Right, it's lovely in here, but I'm going to head out and get a bite to eat and a coffee now. Looks like there's a rather lovely tiled mural as we come down the stairs. Oh yeah, lovely. No, oh, yes. Oh, oh. Hand the oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And is it raining? No, it isn't. Yay! Well, I've walked into the first cafe I came to, which is called Edge of Town Cafe and Juice Bar. And I've never been in here before in my life, but I really want to change things up. I want to go into shops I've never been into. I want to go into cafes I've never been into. Because it's just, I don't know, it spices life up a bit. It makes it a bit more, it's more stimulating. And speaking of stimulating, I'm having a, a coffee, <laughs> which is very nice actually. And I've ordered a jacket potato and cheese. There were lots of just very typical British cafe things on the menu you know burgers and sandwiches and things like that uh, not loads of vegetarians but you know you can always have jacket potato and cheese can't you we've got my condiments ready it's here we've peppered it up already i'm out now that's where i went the edge of town cafe bar the bill came to five pound sixty and i got so relaxed and sat in there for so long it's actually quite late now but i'm gonna try and look in at least a couple of clothes shops before they shut what am i like but I've had a lovely day and that was my objective. Again, it doesn't matter so much about the shopping. It's, it's just having a bit of time out, really. There's a whole food shop there. Look, I didn't know that was there. I don't actually need anything from there at the moment, but I thought I'd tell you about it. <laughs> I'm dodging people texting all along. along. Oh, where's the clove shop? Pep and Co. Never been in there before. Well, I don't think I have anyway. I'm going to go in and have a look. Hmm, pop into Poundland. So it must be something to do with Poundland then. They've got leggings in here, seven pound for two pairs. Cycle shorts, two pairs for six pound. Slippers for three pound fifty. Dresses for twelve pound. Ooh, fluffy. That's eighteen pound. That is. There's a children's and teenage section. Yeah, it must have been to do with Poundland because the ladies who work there were wearing Poundland uniforms as well. 
There's a Peacock's opposite. But I'm not going to go in it because I only just went in the Cardiff one the other week and I, I think they have the same stock anyway. Look at that, it's starting to get dark now. The birds are all, I don't know if they're roosting for the night. I don't know what they're doing. They're landing on that building over there. I might have a look in Blizz, if that's how you pronounce that. Also somewhere I've never, ever been in my life. It's a lovely, bright, colourful place to be in and all quite densely packed in. The prices are higher than the other place. For example, this suit set is £40. These dresses are on for £30. I've come back outside. Nothing really took my fancy. They had lots of lovely stuff and look, look at these little baby shoes i'm gonna have a look in the charity shop i think while i'm here i'm just browsing i, mean, I won't mind if i don't buy anything look i love these little buses what is it about me i'm a grown-up lady not even a young one why do i get excited by like model coaches and things it's not normal <gasps> they got a model metro train <laughs> what would i even do with it though i'm actually in a different charity shop now over the road i quite like this dress actually it's 3.95 you know for gigging in probably i don't think they've got any fitting rooms to try stuff on in here but i'm I'm sure it's not going to be too small i'm confident of that so i might get it you know <laughs> yay i got something i seem to be doing the rounds of the charity shots with this other couple of ladies and i was making a bit of a joke about it with them and as i was leaving she said i'll see you in the next charity shop <laughs> maybe we will look at these funny benches here there's a holland and barrett by there but i'm not going in there today Speaking of charity shops though, there's a Bernardo's and I'm gonna go in there next. Nothing in there for me. Interesting looking though. It's rapidly approaching 5 p.m. And I think I'm gonna to head to the train station so I can avoid rush hour, you know. Well, I might be catching the start of it if I'm honest. Oh look, there's Prince's all closing up for the day. No more stock in the windows. Anyway, that was a lovely chilled trip to Ponty and let's get home on the train. I'm home. I've been home about 10 minutes. I've been up in my daughter's room chatting to her because she's back home for the weekend. I did a very spontaneous nip into Iceland and deeply resent just having had to buy a bag. <laughs> but I just bought these items for dinner and that for our breakfast tomorrow. One pound for broccoli, two pound fifteen for the bio yogurt. Me and Izzy both love that now. One pound for the chips and £2.50 for the unicorns. So it's like vegetarian fake chicken stuff. Well, vegan actually. So I'll be able to do those in the new air fryer. But I'm not hungry now because it's not actually that long since I had that jacket potato and cheese. But thank you so much for coming to Ponty with me today. If you liked the video, could you please give it a like? If you'd like to watch more videos from me, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.